hello so I just got back from working out literally just finished so I'm kind of gross but um I ran I did hill repeats today so I ran to a place about um, um two and a half miles from my house I ran two and a half miles easy and then I did three hill repeats and then I ran two and a half miles easy home um and I actually did strength exercises and then I ran home um I only did three hill repeats, which is probably the minimum I normally do. Normally I do about anywhere from three to six would probably be the most I'd do. Um, but it's like kind of the first week of my workout regime, so I wanted to go easy. Um, and I motivated myself by telling myself that I would only have to do three if I got my fastest time on my last hill repeat because I did, I ran up the entire hill. There was like a sign at the top and my fastest that I was able to run up that hill was a minute and five seconds. And then the slowest was like a minute and 15 seconds, um, which is my second. So my first was a little, my first was like, okay, my second was a little slower. My third was the fastest by a fair amount. So that was really nice. Um, and it was really pretty. I did it right as the sun was going down. Um, today I had nothing exciting. I ate a hard boiled egg. I had half a kale smoothie that I had left over from the other day. And I had yogurt and fruit for lunch. And I had some um, hummus and pita, one piece of pita and some hummus as a snack recently. I have been snacking a lot on um, almonds. We have really, really good almonds, like raw almonds, and um, they're not cherry tomatoes. They're called sugar plum tomatoes. They're just like little tomatoes, like that big, and they're really good. And there are many calories in them, but I don't know if they're actually good for you. I don't know. No snacking is really good, um, but I snack a lot, or I, I have snacked a lot in my life, and so it was hard for me to stop snacking at all. So. Those are the things I'm snacking on, which is better than snacking on, like, chocolate, I guess. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure I'm going to do an easy run, but it might be pretty long. Um, I did my, I've been doing my strengthening exercises with their squat, which are squats, and they make my thighs so sore. But anyways, now I'm going to go down and do some core. I don't really like doing core in my house, but I like to do it, like, on a turf field. But, um, when the turf field is being used like the one that I would be by like on the way on my run I just have to do core at my house and I do it like on a mat so it doesn't hurt me hurt my back um yeah that's about it I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do is make another kale smoothie another kale smoothie what I do is I put in kale pineapple straw like s frozen fruit so I put in kale raw kale and then I put in frozen fruit so anything like strawberries pineapples raspberries blueberries and then I put in coconut water as the liquid um so the frozen fruit makes it a smoothie and then and then the coconut water makes it kind of like liquid um last time I put in a lot too much liquid and I think too much kale so this time I'm going to go heavier on the fruit lighter on the coconut water and maybe a little lighter on the kale um I don't like kale cooked like sauteed I've had it good kale before but I don't really like the taste of it but even though my kale smoothie had a lot of kale in it I could still drink it I didn't think it was that bad and I, th I think it's because of the mixture with the fruit it doesn't taste that bad so yeah um, maybe I'll show you how to make a kale smoothie in the future um, and yeah that's all for today so I will be back tomorrow bye